So, Scott, what else is going on, buddy? Well, uh, I had a, a friend over in Arizona, you know, get blessed today. You know, he was a blessing, and then, you know, God zapped him right back with a blessing, like, I don't know, hundredfold or, I don't know, a thousandfold. Got struck know. by lightning? No, nah, man, he, he, he did, got a financial thingy. You know, that uh, it, that's how it works, man, faith in action. And, so he hooked you up? Yeah, he he sent uh, the underground a couple dollars, you know, nice. and, which was cool because I was down to two bucks. And, wow. you know, he, so he sent, uh, you know, a little over a hundred bucks. And, and I was like, wow, you know, shoot, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and, and then he went and got blessed like crazy. But, uh, you know, I expect those things. I expect those all things all the time, you know. And that's why I tell people, walk in love in this time. Holy smokes. You walk in love, you're going to get blessed. You walk in something else, like selfishness and self-centeredness, you know, or egocentric or whatever, man. You're not going to get blessed. It, it doesn't work that way, you know. You, we give it away to keep it. And, and like those people that were handling out food, you know, they're they're trying to be a blessing, you know, and and then they steal these people's blessing and they lock them up. Are you kidding me? Wow, America should be outraged. It's very disturbing. It, it is criminal. It, it makes me want to go down there and I don't want to say get physical, but it makes me want to go down there and just protect these guys and say get your hands off of them or I don't know what we can do about this because this needs to stop. This is just a worldwide outrage. Yeah, it's a slap in God's face. And That's what if, it is. That's a good point. If, yeah, and if any of these agencies are looking, listening in, I'll tell you right now, and I'm speaking for him, I believe totally, it's a slap in his face, and you better stop it, okay? Because judgment starts at the pulpit, and he's going to work his way down. And it don't matter if it's a bully pulpit, the political pulpit, the banking pulpit, he's going to start at the top. And he's going to move his way right on down with his mighty arm. That's right. You know, they, the, the meek shall inherit this earth. Well, whether you're religious or not, justice will be served, hopefully, in the end here. And we need to stand up to this bureaucracy, this police state. It's just madness. Yeah, it, and they're serving idols. You know, they, these are demagogues. You know, Wells Fargo, it's Mr. Wells Fargo. That it, that entity has life. And then when you get a bunch of these entities together, then it's a group of people. And that group of people has more rights than a single person. So, it, you know, and this is how they get around all these things. They are using these legal fictions, okay? The word fiction should clue you in. It's a lie. Okay, it's a lie straight from the pit of hell. These are not people running these things. These are idols running these things. It's an incorporated body. It's a piece of paper they gave life to. That's Mr. B of A, Mr. Wells Fargo, Mr. City, Mr. Uh, Washington Mutual, Mr. All these until they gobble each other up and they all turn it all over to the World Bank, which is right around the corner. You know, they're going to go into that glass deagle. BS, and they're going to go under a one-world banking system, and it's just, it's a gimme, it's a gimme, and it it's sad, it's sad as heck. I hear your ringtone going on in the background there, yeah. and uh, by the way, shout out to all the activists in Florida working to fight against the oppression of those thugs, pushing yeah. the legislation of a bureaucratic bunch of morons that somehow think that they have the right to prevent people from being fed, children from being fed. Uh, Matt in Florida is in the chat. He says one guy was arrested three times already for that. Three times already and that they're going to keep being arrested. Those are true heroes. They absolutely are. And if I wasn't so busy with this show, you know, I maybe I shouldn't make up an excuse, but I got to give them a lot of credit. I, I don't know if I could go down there and get arrested myself. You know, I, uh, well. You, you arrested ain't nothing, man. Yeah. It's nothing stuff. And, and, you know, if you're, you're over there in, in Florida, man, get down there with your signs and put on those signs. We don't serve idols. 
We don't serve yeah. idols, it, you know. It, it, you know, it, it, and stick that on those revenue agents because that's all they're doing, man. They're 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 sending these people to to, to court or whatever to get their five hundred dollar fine. Okay, it, it's just another way of taxation without representation. It's garbage, and our founding fathers be turning in their graves with that kind of nonsense. George Washington himself said. You know, hey, you don't do that, man. And then they did it in the early teens of this century right. when they went to the Federal Reserve. Said, you never, ever let anyone else print up your money. It, man, it's sad as heck. It, it, and then they turned it over to an idolatry system. Wow. And it's all being run out of Geneva, Switzerland. you got the the... World Trade uh, Commission up there. You got the World Food Commission up there. You got the World Health Organization up there. You got the World Wide Web up there. You've got CERN, your super technology up there. They're all up there. The United Nations, NATO, uh, Red Cross. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. All these so-called charities. Those charities of 501c3s are cons. Those are idols. And they threw in with idols. You know, I had a person talk to me the other day, you know, and just said, Scott, you know, you just say they're idols, they're idols, you know, but, you know, some of these things do good works. I go, look, it. you remove this idolatry and you'll have a hundred thousand times greater good works happening. No way. I will not co-sign it. You know, it, it, you, a million good intentions, you know, the, the road to hell is paved with them. You know, we got to get this idol the hell out of our country. Uh, off the planet, matter of fact, I'd love to just kick that, burn that piece of paper up, man. Uh, send it to God. You know? <laughs> but, you know, this is what they're hiding behind. They're a bunch of cowards. Uh, then why do you think the G20 needs all these armed guards and, and police that you pay for? Okay. They get you on every which way around the center and the middle. And I mean, they're playing all sides against uh, each other. It's a crock of BS. Okay. And, and man, it's sad. It's sad. It's a joke. You know, I laugh at your, your laws. They're not laws. They serve idols. There's no law there. Those are actions and statutes backed by legal fictions. It's all trash. You got laws. Don't kill. Don't steal. Okay. Well, start arresting all these incorporations and start right there with Tomco and then go all the way over to all these other agencies that are, are manifesting these battles for greed and just start locking them all up. You know, it, I, they're hiding behind this piece of paper, this idol, because it makes them money. It, you know, the only reason for that paper is for its stockholders, okay? Well, you know what? Only 5% of the shares are out there. Okay, 95% of the shares are owned by the CEOs. They'll manipulate those 501Cs, your Social Security, which will dump on the stock market here soon enough. They're going to take them all. They're going to wipe you out. Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You all know, right. so well, Scott, I didn't mean to digress, but this is a good topic, and we don't get to hear you on this sort of stuff enough. But uh, we're coming up to another break, so hold that thought. And when we get back, we'll finish our thoughts on that and maybe shift gears back to Earth changes, which is Scott's specialty, of course. Scott from the Believers Underground every Friday for the second hour of the show. It's the Bob Tuscan Show, folks. Stand by. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll take your calls at 866-841. 1065. Continue with Scott from the Believers Underground on the Bob Tuscan Show. Scott, where do you want to pick it up? 
Man, let's let's just keep ripping on this subject because this is a part of Earth Changes Hardcore. Uh, you know, February, uh, I think it was the fifth. You know, the White House posted on its on its website that the U.S. and Canada merged. It's a super state, and you look across the United States. Uh, Maperize Maperize Matrix, I think his name was. He put up a video last night, Matrix, Matrix, Vaporizer, maybe I think his name is, but uh, I got it on my faves over on my side, but he put up the map with with the uh, different companies and countries that already own sections of the United States. I mean, the U.S. is being just pieced off hardcore. To all these other countries, man, they're, they're turning it into Swiss cheese right underneath, right under your feet. They, they are taking away land and they're bringing their own workers to to work those these companies and docks. And, and I mean, in our face. It, I mean, it, the U.S. is just, it doesn't exist anymore. You know, you it, only on paper. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, they, they give you this propaganda. Oh, yeah, one nation under God. That's baloney. This is one nation under about 100,000 demagogues of incorporation, probably a million. I mean, it, it, who knows how many incorporated entities. And even the church system now, they backdoor through the revenue agents over there at the Fed through their their – unconstitutional taxes uh, i mean dang all your taxes that you pay the federal reserve this federal stupid tax okay it just goes right into the world bank's pocket you know it's, it's sad and it's, it's been going on that way for a long time it, it, and people just ain't waking up man they're sound asleep uh, they're in the third generation of idolatry and they don't even know it and these 501c3s, these uh, charities, okay, man, most of them are just a media arm for the rich. Uh, like that uh, ex-governor of Michigan I took on on C-SPAN TV a couple weeks back. Man, it's a joke. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's, they, what, we paid $17 bucks for a solar panel plant over there in Michigan, Battle Creek, Michigan. I know, I was there. I was at the plant, and it didn't open for one day. And not only a block and a half down the street, you had Michigan's greatest oil spill in its history, 800,000 gallons of oil. And it still hasn't been cleaned up, and that plant still isn't open. And this lady is the head of PU. Yeah, PU, all right. Uh, it's, oh, clean energy products, and nuclear was one of them. And man, oh, I fried her on, on national TV. I go, man, nuclear's off the table. The United Nations already said point blank, the general secretary said, we're going to have more meltdowns. And you know what? He's absolutely correct. We are not going through these earth changes without having more meltdowns. I'm sorry. It, we just won't. Uh, 